hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel um it's good to have you guys back thanks for always being there um without wasting much of our time let me quickly teach you guys how to make this um simple top it's also a kimono you can also call it a kimono dress um so these three lines you are seeing the first one is the shoulder slanting the second one is the post point um the third one is the waistline and this is the i'm using the old fabric for the for the length so you're just going to divide your bust measurement into four at two inches so in allowance you are doing the same thing on the waistline then on this down part you're going to measure your take your hip measurement by by four you add the two inches too so this is my shoulder slant and i use two inches downward so i'm taking my shoulder measurement So from that shoulder measurement, you are going to measure seven inches downward for the arm or to pave way for the arm hole. So after marking out the basic bodies, now I'm going to it's gonna have um, a small neck. So on this side I'm measuring two and a half inches and downward I'm measuring four inches. So you are going to have opening at the front that you cut it out. So after cutting out, this is you fold the remaining fabric to cut the back bodies. So now I'm going to place the front bodies on the remaining fabric to get the back bodies. Don't forget you are going to open up the front body. The center is going to be having opening. So in this case, there is no zip allowance. You are going to make the front and the back make sure they're equal. So on this upper part now, the shoulder part, I'm adding one one and a half inch. So I'm just going to curve, make the back a little bit higher. It's going to be a high neck. So you follow the same shape. Now you just cut it out. So now this is the front and the back together. If you notice, you see that the back neck follows the same shape of the front bodies. So it's gonna be an eye neck. So now you try to confirm whether you have your desired arm circumference. So I think I got mine. So I'm just going to not sure that it will enable me know where I'm going to join. So now I'm going to cut the sleeve. As you can see, the process is very, very simple and easy. It's an easy one. It's something you can just do on your own. Just try it yourself. So it's gonna have, it's gonna be having um a tricotta sleeve. So I'm using 17 inches length. From this point, you measure five inches to get your arm um, or core. That's gonna be your sleeve of five inches. I think five inches is okay. So now I'm going to measure around to mark out my exact arm um, or circumference measurement. I'm going to measure the round sleeve too. I'm just going to have um I'm going to add um one or one and a half inches for the same allowance. On this part I'm going to measure my bicep. So I'll connect them together. 
so that is the little allowance I'm going to have for the joining so I'm going to notch again so that it will enable me to know where I'm going to join it's an easy one so now I've cut lining for the front and the back bodies and I, I gum it with paper stain so that it will be a little bit thicker please when you're holding it it will look firm so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the front bodies and the back bodies and I'm going to join the sides that is the measurement I'm going to mark out my measurement and I will join the side the two sides I'll do the same thing on the lining too so after when you might have done that this is what we're going to have i've joined the two sides as you can see the work is in progress do the same thing on the lining too this is what you're going to have it's going to be an inner swing so that it will look more neater so now i'm going to join the shoulders both on the lining and on the fabric So I've already done that. Join the, the shadow of the lining and the fabric too. After joining, this is what we're going to have. So the lining and the fabric are equal, they have the same length. So now I'm going to remove one inch from the lining. So that after turning, the lining won't be showing outside. It is the lining that you use to turn the, the fabric. So the lining and the fabric can't be equal. So that the lining will be able to fold the, the fabric in the down part. So now the next thing you are going to do is place it like this. Then you are going to sew it around. You are going to sew it around like that. You are going to cover everything. Sew it around. You sew through the neckline, the shoulder, the front part, and the down part. You cover everything. So as you can see, I've just, I've just done that. So now from the arm owner, you are going to, you are going to remove it out from there. after removing it out from there you iron very well this is what you're going to have as you can see very neat very neat and beautiful this is the inner part see the down part the lining has already turned the the fabric check the down part so now the work is almost coming to an end just like I said, it's very easy and simple. So now I'm going to fix the sleeve. So, as you can see, very easy and simple. I've already fixed the sleeve. So you don't have to stress yourself. It's something you can just do on your own. Thank you everybody for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you in my next video.